Could you tell if a person is physically attractive? No. <laughs> you don't go around being like, nice to meet you. Just, just had to clear that up. <laughs> if you were in a room alone with someone who is blind, what would you ask? This video was sponsored by Google. Hey good humans, Milky here. As many of our Jubilee fans know, we prioritize championing inclusion and creating empathy-driven conversations. That's why I'm excited to talk about our new partnership with Google in this special episode of Ask Me Anything. In this collaboration, Google and Jubilee are both committed to creating a more accessible world. One of Jubilee's goals is to be a space of belonging for everyone through the power of deep and meaningful dialogue. But we want to make having these discussions truly accessible for all. Accessibility has been a priority for Google. It's a mindset in an ever-evolving journey, especially in eliminating stereotypes in the representation of people with disabilities. And in this episode of Ask Me Anything, look out for moments where our hero uses the Google accessibility features. For people in the disabled community who need easy accessibility, the voice access is there to help control your phone, simply by talking out loud, starting with, Hey Google, voice access. Features like the voice guidance, which empowers individuals who are blind or low vision to get around with detailed voice announcements for walking trips with Google Maps. And the talkback feature, which speaks aloud the screen, navigates through apps, and facilitates communication with braille, voice, and keyboard. Google cares about what they make, making sure it is for everyone. Because in a world where everyone belongs, anything is possible. So to learn more about how Google is creating a world where everyone can belong, check out the link belonging.google in the description below. And now let's get into the video. Hi. My name is Mason. My name is Precious. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How old are you? I am 24. Do you mind me asking you, like, what's like, your profession and what you do for a living? So I am a singer-songwriter, and I also am a music educator. And I'm membership chair of a coalition called RAMPT, which stands for Recording Artists and Music Professionals with Disabilities. And my personal goal is to be the first blind Latina at the forefront of the Latin music industry. So have you always been blind? Yeah, so I um, I was born blind. Um, I was actually born early. They had to give me oxygen as a result. My retina's kind of detached and my eyes weren't fully developed. And as far as color, like I can't see any colors, but I kind of um, think of colors by association. So like the sky is blue, but then like turquoise is the ocean. Pink is my favorite color. I was gonna ask you, even though you can't see colors, what color would you use to describe yourself? Oh yeah, definitely pink. Definitely, definitely pink. Definitely pink. <laughs> Pink's a great color, it's my favorite color too. Oh cool! Yeah. Do you experience any visual sensations when you play or listen to music? I do not. You don't? I don't have synesthesia. Okay. Unfortunately. So synesthesia is when you like hear music or play music, music like has a taste or a, a, a visual or like a color. Not something I have, but there are people that do have it. <laughs> are you still able to daydream um, or see images in your head? In my dreams, I don't see anything. So like, because I've never had sight, everything that happens is made up by like, all of the images that I've conjured in my head based on like soundscapes and what I've heard and people's voices and all these different things. What's the most frustrating about being blind? How everybody else looks at me. Like how people who don't understand or don't know or like are ignorant about it think of me uh, as incapable or they view me as a child. It's something called infantilization, which views disabled people as uh, children. How much harder would you say it is to be in the music industry as a blind musician? We do have to work 10 times harder. Mm -hmm. It's not just thinking about, am I ready for this gig or am I prepared? It's can I get access to this gig? Is there gonna be somebody to help me around if I don't know how to get around because I'm not familiar with the gig? Yeah. Will I not get the gig just because I'm disabled but nobody's actually gonna tell me that's the reason? Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of different things and as far as accessibility within the industry, it's not something that's universal yet. Um, so my next question is like, how is like the dating scene for you as a blind individual? So for me, I'm, I'm actually about to get married. Um, so congrats. I have a fiance. <laughs> congrats, congrats. How did you meet your husband or your fiance? We met through a mutual friend like eight years ago. 
That's awesome. And he's also blind? He is, yeah. It's really awesome because you don't have to explain all the intricacies of like how something feels sometimes because if you're not going through it, some, some things people just can't really understand fully. Yeah. Sometimes people assume that like you have a sighted partner that's going to take care of you. You know, like I was getting my nails done the other day and the lady was like, your husband's going to be happy to see your nails. And I was like, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Could you tell if a person is physically attractive? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really think about that, to be real with you. Like, mm -hmm. I look at people's personalities more. You know, I notice voices. That was a big thing. Or, like, height is something I can definitely notice. Obviously, if you end up getting close to the person and you start, like, feeling on their face. By the way, uh... Blind people don't feel people's faces. That's not a thing. Unless you're like super close to someone like that you're dating. Like yeah, you, you don't go around being like, nice to meet you. <laughs> we don't do that. Nobody wants to feel somebody's oily skin. Is your disability, would you say, accurately presented in the media? Definitely not. I don't know, people always think that a blind person has a cane and sunglasses. A lot of the time, like, People aren't using the canes correctly or rarely at all. Uh, I'm actually someone who's also considered disabled. Really? Yeah, I was born with a smaller left hand. Oh, so wow. I thought this would be a great conversation to have. That's you so know. cool. Yeah. Disabled buddies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're for it. Let's start a club. We could do it. <laughs> Let's do it. How have you felt about the term disabled growing up? I identify as a blind person. Mm. And so people will say handicapped which honestly feels way more limiting and I don't I don't like the use of that word. Disability is not a bad word, disabled is not a bad word and I think society's been taught that it is. Is there anything that people without a disability could do to help make people with a disability lives easier? Ask questions. There's this whole thing where like if a child asks a question about somebody they see that's different than them, their parents are like, shh, don't ask that, yeah. don't say that. We want you to ask because how are they gonna know otherwise? Right. I work with small children. A lot of the questions I got when they saw me in person was, Miss Precious, what's wrong with your eyes? What happened to your eyes? Do they hurt? Yeah, I'm actually an elementary school teacher. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I'm an elementary music school team. Wow. A kid walked up to me and he's like, your hand's smaller than mine. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, wow, yeah, you're totally right. I was like, let's high five right now. They take it as like a, a sense of wonder and a yeah. sense of like coolness. The solution so. is adults need to be more like kids. <laughs> what do you consider your superpower? I think my superpower is love. Mm. I just try to spread love with everything I do. I can tell you have a lot of it. I want to I wanna hug you through, even though I can't see you. You know, with platforms like TikTok and, you know, Instagram, you know, coming out with lots of new content creators with disabilities, would you say that's helped to change, you know, people's perspectives on people, uh, with people with disabilities? There's something called inspiration porn. And what that means is that, like, people have this story about, like, a disability, like, oh, this poor person with a disability, like, they got taken to prom by this, you know, fully functioning person, and that's such a heartwarming thing. What if they were just two friends that wanted to go to prom? Like, why is that newsworthy? Tell me I'm inspirational for things that I do that I've accomplished as a human. Yeah, for but sure. But don't tell me I'm inspirational for getting up in the morning. And it's stressful because, you know, the general public is so unaware and ignorant when it comes to people with disabilities. It mm. is the one diversity that is left out of every diversity conversation. Mm -hmm. It is the one thing that people are still weird about. Uh, what are like some solutions you think would help that, like in order to better educate people? Equal opportunity for disabled people. Unemployment rate for blind people is 70% because people think that we can't do X, Y, Z in a job and therefore discriminate. I had a question for you regarding, you know, how you, you view or like perceive racism or discrimination based on the way that people look since you've never been able to see them. Good question. There's this misconception that blind people can't be racist. That's not true because there are blind people that are racist. <laughs> As a person of color myself, mm -hmm. like being surrounded by so much diversity my entire life and representing my community in the way that I do, I'm sensitive to these things and you know, I've experienced these things. Like I did experience bullying mm -hmm. um, 
throughout elementary a little bit, but mostly middle school. I had people just accuse me of getting special treatment and take my tray out from in front of me at lunch because I couldn't see them doing it. And then I'd go to like find my food and nothing was there. Oh my God. Um, so uh, what advice do you have for a disabled person watching this right now who doesn't feel like they have a lot of help in certain areas? I would say, you know, start small. Whatever is attainable right now toward the goal that you want to reach, figure out what you can do right now and work towards it. You're not alone in this community. We're on your side. We are with you. Keep going because you can do it. If we can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree. If given the opportunity to see one thing, what would you want to see? Hmm, I would like to see happy babies. Because every time I'm nervous when I'm performing or something, I envision a bunch of happy babies clapping and it makes me happy and I wonder if they look as cute as I think they do. Do you enjoy going out to the movies? What's your favorite movie? So, I do. I like the novelty of like going out. They have um, these listening devices where you can uh, put on headphones and you have a little square box with a volume button and there's a audio description track narrating the, what's happening in the movie so I can enjoy the movie while everybody is also enjoying the movie. My favorite movie, uh, definitely I would have to say probably Finding Nemo or Finding Dory, like those two. They're so cute and I love Nemo. <laughs> do you do your own hair, makeup and pick out your clothes? I learned how to do my own makeup, except lip stick, lip liner, like I haven't quite figured that one out yet, but somehow I figured out everything else. I do pick out my clothes, although like sometimes I definitely get opinions from like my mom and my sister because like I always need a face check and a clothes check and like, does this actually match these shoes or what vibe do you think this gives off? So I, I was always curious as to like for other people what my vibe and style seems like, but I feel like my vibe and style is very like simple but elegant. Thanks to Google for sponsoring this video. Would you like to meet Precious? Yeah, I would love to. Hello! Hi! Hi. You're wonderful. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what, how do I find you on Spotify? Um, just Precious Perez. Perez. 